right, here we go. What up, everybody? How you doing? Dan B here. Welcome to the Game Beaters channel. And today we're going to be streaming a brand new Ninja Turtles game. Well, kind of a brand new Ninja Turtles game. This one's called Shredder's Re-Revenge. And I first heard about this through Mad Little Pixel. He put up a video it was last night, I believe. And um, yeah, this is a hack of Streets of Rage 2. But somehow they were able to put in all the sprites and animations from the newly released this year Shredder's Revenge game. And that, that game's an awesome beat-em-up, by the way. So being a fan of that game, had to try this one out. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Thought, let's pop it in. I got some time, I wanted to play it. Thought I'd share it with you guys. You know, if anybody's interested, and we'll play through the whole thing. So let's uh, not waste any time and go ahead and get that done. All right. So, let's see here. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Re-Revenge. Got one player, two player options. Now we want to get through it, so. We'll go with easy. We'll turn the turbo on. I guess off means that you're playing it in the style of. Um, off means you're playing it in the style of the original Streets of Rage, and on means that you get to play it in the style of the Turtles game. Hey, Great White North. Thanks, man. I hope you're doing well, too. Hope you're having a great holiday. Let's see here. So, one player. Could be Mikey, April, Splinter. Look at that animation. For Sega Genesis, it's pretty badass. Got Leo here. Donnie, Casey, Raph. I'm just going to start with Leo and go down the line, I guess, as we go. Just waiting for the girlfriend. Right on, that's cool. Cool to have you. You guys got plans today? Pause for a second. I'm going to fix the screen so that yeah, you know, just looks a little nicer. We'll get rid of those black bars. Kind of grow this guy out like this. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty right there. Yeah, Christmas date. Right on. Gotta like those Christmas dates. You're a Raph fan? Hey, Raph's cool too. Leo's my favorite, but I like Raph. He's probably my... I don't know. He might be my least favorite, but that doesn't mean I don't like him. I like Raph a lot. I think that... It's not so much the personality, it's just the video game thing. He's got the shortest reach, <laughs> and it just bothers me in like all the video games that his reach is so short. What's up, T-Belly? It's been a while, man. Merry holiday to you. I don't know what you celebrate, but I hope you're having a good one. Raph's my favorite ever since the first film. Oh my god, it's a T-Belly. Wow, T-Belly appears. <laughs> yeah, Raph was cool in the in the movie. All right, let's, let's try this out here. So far, it plays pretty good. It feels different than Streets of Rage. Like you can tell it's in that engine, but.
but like it plays kind of like the Shredder's Revenge. Interesting. Man, those sprites are nice. Get some pizza. You have to try this one for sure. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, what you been up to, T Valley? I haven't seen you for a while, man, since the, the Facebook purge. This is the one on the Genesis, yeah. It just got released yesterday. Okay, so you can't pick up the weapons. Because I guess you're holding a weapon, so it makes sense. Oof. So the weapons just drop. That's fine. I wonder if I'm like April or something if I can pick up a weapon. Do they have a cart? No, I mean, you just have to find someone that can hack the ROM and then you can make a cart. Like, dude, you could buy yourself a cheap um, Genesis EverDrive. Like, they make cheap EverDrives that work for, like, 30 bucks. You can put this and as many other Genesis games as you want on a cart and play it on real hardware. But, it's pretty new, so there's no cart yet. That I know of. What's up, Batman? Good to see you, bro. Might see a game over screen or two, Batman. Never been the best at Streets of Rage 2. But I'm pretty good at turtle games. Plus, you know, I gave myself nine lives. So that helps. Have fun with the GF. Take care, Great White North. We're just gonna be here kicking tables, kicking foot. So what are you two up to tonight? T-Belly, Batman. That dude's doing sit-ups, man. Gotta get his exercise in. Okay, so you can do a special move that takes the life. Like that, it takes a little bit of your life. That's not too bad though. All night long, huh? Working on a commercial for your company. Get ads running for the Midwest, nice dude. I remember seeing an ad you put up for, it was like a, you were doing like a tourist stuff, last I remember. But Midwest is cool, that's where I, that's where I live, Midwest. Got him. Later, Rocksteady. A little bit slow down here, but maybe it's supposed to do that. Made a whoop of 960 bucks this year. Dude! I mean, you know, being an entrepreneur, you gotta, it starts small sometimes. Believe me, I know what it's like running your own business. Been doing it for years. Ain't easy out there. Sometimes it's easier than others. Oh, there's, there's bikes. Man, the graphics on this are just 
It's just getting to me how how cool that everything looks. Like if I wasn't playing this on the Sega Genesis, I would not know that it was Sega Genesis. It looks very modern. And I guess maybe it's just the sprite work. Oh. in here, yes. Gold? What does a turtle need gold bricks for? It's not like the turtle's going to the store. Alright. Hey man, don't don't worry about the messages. Chat up in here. It's good to see you. We ain't, we're not uptight at all in here anyway. Nothing matters that much. We're not gonna get mad about messages or... Too many messages, no messages. It's all good. Plus it's a holiday. Can't get mad. Got the day off. I work for 18 Teal full time at home. It takes care. Of it. Right on, right on. I'm sure that's a decent gig. Gold's an important component of electronics. Don't tell us machines you need the circuit boards. All right, fair point. Fair point. As we know from the song, Donatello does machines. <laughs> and needs that gold. Plus when, you know, turtles get their teeth knocked out, they gotta... Gotta have them, them gold choppers. Who is this? Zagnut or, I mean, Wignut? for making this. Come on, Leo. Don't let me down, buddy. Come on, Leo, we got this. One more hit. We both got one more hit. Got him! Enjoying the weekend off? Just caught the stream. Oh, it's cool that you're here, Game Pro. Always dig you having having you here. Hey, Game Pro, did you ever read Game Pro magazine back in the day? Just curious if that's where you got your name. I dug that magazine. Ah, there's just a knife in there. Look at these bone foot just sleeping out on the benches. Come on, foot. Arcade, baby. Get them monies. Get that gold. Destroy the mousers. Oh! Something blew up on me. Pizza. Ooh, 
was a longtime subscriber to Game Pro Magazine. It's like they were one of the first magazines to fold. Yeah. I liked them. They were probably my second play. I thought EGM was the best, and then Game Pro. But I always look forward to both of them coming out. And of course, you know, Nintendo Power was good, but I always liked the other ones because it you could tell they were <laughs> you know Nintendo Power was a little um biased, you could say. I mean I guess all the magazines have the biases, but you know, you're paying for an opinion. Well, you're paying for facts and opinions, right? You're paying for like what is this game like? What are the mechanics? What do the graphics look like? And then the people's opinions on top of that. Alright, we got this gotta be Rocksteady Bebop stage, right? Or or at least um we've already fought Rocksteady, so it's gotta be Bebop here. Seems like that was put those guys on the pirate ship. Hey, one up. Got him. Man, this is a... I know, like, on the basis of... Uh... Bare Knuckle 2. Okay. I can't let this guy hit me. There was a... There's a glitch. If he hits you with the whip... Then it freezes the game. But only if it's coming from the other side. If, he, if I let him get on the, this side of me. It's just like the one known glitch. I was willing to take the, uh, the life drain. It's pretty sus that Nintendo Power flat out avoided formally reviewing Friday the 13th on NES. Even Electronic Game Mouth, they gave it due process, despite being their third lowest scored game. Did they not out? Did they not review Friday the Thirteenth? I feel like when I played that game as a kid, my neighbor had that game, and I go to, over to his house, and I thought we had the Nintendo Power that had like maps on it and stuff, and it helped us get through it. But I could be wrong. And that's not necessarily a review, right? Like a player's guide. But yeah, they were always sus about their reviews. Like, how did they... How did they... You know... Like, they would have, like, their top 10 or whatever, top 20. And, like, Legend of Zelda was on there for, like... 50 issues straight or something like that. It was insane. I don't remember, did like kids, you know, people who had the magazines write in and say what, what, what they were playing or was it based on sales? Just weird. Just some weird arbitrary number. Hey, this boss is pretty much the same. different though because you got a sword this time so it plays different. Oh man. Got him. Oh, they dropped their shrunken and we can't even... Uh oh slash! Pretty cool sprite for Slash. What? Nintendo Power said it was worse than Color a Dinosaur? 
That's crazy. I mean, Colored Dinosaur is not awful if you're like two. If you're like two or three, you might like that game. That's funny. I need to look up some Nintendo powers. I kind of wish I still had my old ones. Go through them once in a while or something, but. I know they're on Internet Archive, though. What's up, Linda? How you doing today? Merry uh, Gamesness to ya. <laughs> Oof. How you doing tonight? Foot. The baseball. According to that sign back there. Oh, you got Disneyland in the background there. Isn't that the Magic Kingdom? <laughs> it looks like it. It's like boo! Alright. We got all kinds of weird signs in this city. out of nowhere. Come on, foot. Oh, he got me even with a special attack. Dang. He don't play. How's the game going? It's going good. It's, uh... I like it. It'd be cool if, like, like, if I saw it at a convention on a cart for 20 bucks, I'd get it. It'd be cool to have. It's well done. I mean, it's so well done, it's like, I almost wonder if I'm gonna see some kind of cease and desist or something on this. But I appreciate all you guys being here. Christmas Eve. <clears throat> it's been pretty slow around here for me, so I've been working on some stuff. I just I needed a break. <laughs> this game was out, I wanted to try it. So But you know, entrepreneur life. Always working. On Christmas. If anybody's looking to get this game, by the way, just hit me up in Discord. I'll help you out with it. Adds Rick from Splatterhouse be a reasonable request for another stream. That'd be fun. I'd try that. Is that also a Streets of Rage hack? And do they do like change the enemies up and stuff too? That'd be sweet to see more of a, a horror vibe for this game. Elevator level. You know, every beat em up worth its salt has an elevator level. Come on, I gotta survive this. Do it! Whew! 
getting low on life here. Oh, they didn't give me a refill on my life. There it is. Ooh. Come on, Bebop. Oh, he's got three life bars. Alright, we're down to the last one. I believe so, given Splatterhouse series basically Street of Rage style game too. Oh yeah! You know, that's the one Splatterhouse I have not played is Splatterhouse 3. I've even played the... I have the PlayStation 3 version. And I've played the arcade quite a bit. The Turbo Graphics one. The 3? 3 just kind of escaped me. So far, we're batting a thousand here, guys. Got the ND, NDR going. Not to jinx it, but... Oof. Might... Might have some trouble here. Unless that has a pizza in it. Thankfully, it does. made it out of that one. Come on, these pizzas in here. Gold! I don't need gold! Donnie can put those weapons together later. Play careful. Got that NDR going. It's uh, it's what we needed. Okay. What's up, Grand? from Brazil learning English. Well, your English was pretty good right there. It's funny about, about English, like, ask any random American how to speak English and you're gonna get a different answer <laughs> because the dialect is so varied just depending on the region of the country you're from. and. But, um, ask questions. I might be able to help you. I actually used to, um... A friend of mine used to teach English to students in Japan. And, uh, he and I ran a message board together. And it was strictly about learning English. And I would help out there as often as possible. So I, I mean, I can try to, to help a bit. Well, welcome to the stream. I'll catch up with you guys here in a second. Let me just get to the, the end of this stage. We got, what's his name, Leather Leatherneck or Leather Ass, whatever his name is. Leatherhead. Oh man. This pizza. 
Back at it. Oh yeah, one more. He's toast. Got him. Do yourself a favor and track down Japanese Ramos Flatterhouse 3. The difficulty is more balanced. And the PlayStation 3 port has redrawn characters in the cutscenes along with bad sound emulation. Oh. Yeah, see, I've I've only played the actual game on the PlayStation 3, not the... I guess there was like a way to unlock the old games, but... Never did that, just played the original game. Oh, this guy's... this guy's like a ninja. Bat still in the chat. Cool, man. Cool. Had to dip out for a minute. But the one and only Batman still in the chat game. Good to have you here, buddy. Damn, BG just in the chat game. How to lose. Hey, man. I'm on a no death run right now. That water's pretty cool. Shields, come on. I don't know if Dick Boots would give that water a good one, but I think it's alright. Oh! Man, he just flies out of the air. Stuff. There's probably was pizza in here I missed. No death run! Oh man! Well, we're still gonna beat this game. But that was cheap. maybe? Gold? There's that pizza. Whoa, who's this guy? Rat King? Sweet. Rat King's kind of a pain in the ass in the, uh, in the Shredder's Revenge. Classic Splatterhouse games unlock via programming or progressing in the remake story mode. The arcade original is the only one that seems to have been ported over without any problems. Okay. So bad emulation. Got it. Yeah, man, you know, we tried, we tried, we almost did it.
You just got the crab knockout. I mean, not that I'm... I'm not blaming my dog or nothing, but my dog came up to me and was crying when I did... when I died. And I was a little concerned about him. But I would have rather checked on him than, uh... You know, then get the no death run, I guess. I can make the, the choice. Oof. It's too bad you can't switch characters. You know, between levels or whatever. Because it'd be nice to have been like Raphael for a level and April, Casey Jones, that kind of thing. There's a one up. So it still counts as no death run, right? Because I got the one up and I so I have nine lives again. I think that's how it works. get a one up, you're allowed to get a death. <laughs> Alright, what's going on? Bad sound emulation anyway. The games at least run at their original frame rate, more than I can say for cartridges on that game's Genesis, dude. That thing is bad news. Oh, no wonder it wasn't progressing. This dude is hiding off screen. No death run, meaning no death, meaning no life loss. Oh. I didn't lose. I gained a life back, though, so that's no. no life lost. Lead to the court. No death run. No, if I got a no death run, I'd want to make it fair and square. Of course. But you know, I like to play. I like having fun. Maybe your dog wanted you to blame him, so you can have an excuse for losing, maybe. He felt bad for me, and that's why I came up and started crying, like, Bro, you're gonna lose on this. Honestly, I thought he was gonna take a dump on the floor. <laughs> then he ended up not. story about well you're Ninja Turtles and Krang has Krang and the Shredder are doing some some bad stuff and, and you you have to go fight your way to, to get to them and you know stop stop their evil plans Isn't that the story of every Ninja Turtle game? Oh, 
blew up. <laughs> Danny Boy just said you don't know what the story's about. I read it, it didn't make any sense. It was just like... At the beginning, they say... Krang and Shredder are back, and they're... Up to no good, and the four turtles decide to take on their friendship. It's just a generic story, you know? At least April wasn't kidnapped this time. I don't think they took the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, the last, the, uh, for the arcade, they were, the team and the team were trying to get the Statue of Liberty back. And for Shredder's Revenge, I guess, right? Because at the end of Shredder's Revenge, you have to fight the Statue of Liberty. And this game is called Shredder's Re-Revenge. So it's supposed to take place after that one. Spamming. Because why not? It's working. Maybe they wanted to steal the statue again. Maybe. <laughs> They're just like, yeah, let's have a laugh. Let's, uh. You know, didn't work the first five times we tried. Maybe this is six times a charm. Come on, Slash. I don't know if anybody ever watched the uh, the CGI Ninja Turtles on Nickelodeon, but um, Slash's voice was Corey Feldman, who, you know, was in the original Turtles movie. And uh, I really like what they did with his character, where he wasn't like a bad guy, he was just kind of misunderstood. And... It's pretty cool. Surprised they didn't have Casey Jones in this hack. They do! They do, actually. They had Casey and April. And Splinter. You can be any of them. I just picked Leo because I thought they were going to give me a chance to, to switch once in a while. Oh, we got Shredder, baby. No Crane? We already at the end here? Oof. Oh, what the? Got him. That can't be it. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's like the fake out. Oh. Every beat em up has the fake out ending guy. Plus, I haven't played Street Race 2 for. Man, since. The 90s, probably. life, guys. There's Crane. <coughs> and the foot soldier beats me in the back of the head.
It's toast! Got him! <laughs> Bye, Crane. I'll catch up with you guys here in the chat. Um, maybe they knew you was the one that got to stop them, start laughing their butt off. Went to take the statue, knowing no one could stop. Oh, because it was me. I, I, I hear you. Oh man, I just put my name in. Damn. Oh yeah, we get that ending screen! Batman, you can't say you don't see no end screens up in here. Um, the Batman's seen the 2012 TMNT. Right on. That's a good show. The 2012. They did a good job with it, I think. I don't know so much about the newest one, but... Shredder's like, oh no, I can't let my team lose to damn V. Let me step in. Hey, what's up, level one? Thanks for the GG. I saw you made a video on this. That's cool. Yeah, this this thing's, you know, spreading. So uh, most ROM hacks, you don't see spread as quick as something like this. So I think it's the way that. Um, put together so well. How could it not? Every once in a while these ROM hacks come out where they're just so well done. And this is just version 1. You know, 1.0. You know they're gonna patch a few things. The Batman see it, but he don't believe it. It happens once in a while, dude. It's Christmas, right? <laughs> I get to win a game on Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I figure I'd say everyone that has to link the ROM in my video just go, Oh, that's cool, man. I, you know, I was saying that in here, too, if anybody wants it. I got it up in the Discord, so. But that's cool. Go to Level 1 Online video and check it out. And have it there. Cause it can be a pain in that the ass to hack a ROM. It's not that hard really, but you gotta grab the right version and there we go. Beaten. Maybe the game was on super super easy. No, it was just on regular easy. <laughs> they have like five levels of difficulty. Super easy, easy, normal hard and like an impossible or something like that well yeah there we go that was pretty fun Merry Christmas guys Merry Krimbus and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa Schwanza or whatever was <laughs> I heard was said some ridiculous stuff out there um, when the Batman beat TMNT4, they didn't give the bat no reward because the Batman beat it on normal. So he had to rebeat the game on hard. Oh, I see. I see. Time for me to get the Santa suit ready. Do it. Have a good Christmas, level one. Batman, I don't know if you're allowed to play TMNT games, dude, because you, you know, you, you battle with the TMNT. You guys have met sparred and stuff and by the way the TMNT kicked a Batman's ass thanks level one take care man here's the story you wanted to know about Batman by the way thirsty for revenge the shredder recruits villains and anti-heroes to rule the city an open challenge is issued to the TMNT for one more showdown the green machine enlists their friends Enlist some of the friends to help kick some shell. The four young turtles with their best allies make a stand for friendship and peace. 
Yeah, I watched the movie. I watched the movie, Batman. The Batman dominated. No, he did not. The Shredder kicked the Batman's ass, even. He wouldn't have made it without help. I should watch that again. It's a good Christmas movie, right? Well, anyway, guys, we beat it. I was just here to beat the game and play through it, see what it is all about. It's fun. I dig it. Recommend playing it. If you want to play it, hit up our Discord, link it below. Or hit up Level 1 Online, his channel. Looks like he's got it there. And, um, yeah. Thanks for being here, guys. Dan B, where are you hiding the list of people who kick the Batman butt? Um, you know. I don't know where I'm hiding the list. Maybe it's... Maybe it's in the butt. Sucks we haven't gotten a Batman TMNT follow-up, given what happens after the credits. I'm trying to remember what happened. I bought that movie like... It was a Chris. I bought it during Christmas. And watched it on Christmas, like... In 2019 or something like that? It's been a while. But yeah, I don't know if we'll ever see a follow-up. It was good though. It's one of the better comic book movies, you know, even as far as animated movies go. It's probably one of the best animated comic book movies I've seen. Really well done. Anyway, folks, just here for the hour, and uh, thanks for being here. If you, I guess if you have a question, I'll answer it real quick. I got, we got four minutes to make it an hour. Huge spoiler for those who haven't seen the movie. The post credit scene reveals Shredder as a Joker. Oh yeah. Right on. Ah uh, yeah, okay. Okay. That could be crazy. The Shredder with the Joker's like lack of morality or whatever because you know the shredders like all well he claims to be all about honor but not really but just a loony a, a batshit crazy shredder that'd be cool any new games you're looking forward to oh linda that's a good question i have so many games in my backlog right now it's crazy i mean I've got like an unopened copy of uh, a couple games here actually, but um, Horizon, the new Horizon game is just sitting here unopened. But um, any new games coming up? I mean, I was really looking forward to that High on Life, that Justin Roiland um, gun game, and that looks like a ton of fun. I just I haven't got to it yet, but that that seems like it'd be fun. How about you, Linda, or anybody out there? What new games do you recommend? The bat got a question. Ask away, bat. What is your villain name? Ooh, ooh villain. Hmm. <laughs> I think it's um. I think it's Bobo Bot. Is the villain Dan B right? That's like the. Bobo Bot is one of my bands, right? And it's a solo project of mine. And in the solo project, Bobo Bot is like the antithesis of Dan, right? And um, they battle each other and stuff. It's it's a fun, weird concept. So I guess Bobo Bot is my villain name, funny enough. The Shredder was borderline nuts already. Now imagine him crossing the border. Yeah, exactly, Game Pro. Exactly. Were you hiding the cheat codes to beat these games, Danny Boy? Hey! You know? Trade secrets, bud. I can't give all the secrets out. 
<laughs> All right, folks. It's been fun. Appreciate you very much. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Take care. And uh, much love to you and your families and whatever you're doing. See you later. Bye.